All right, folks, as, as you can see, this room is being all set up for a very special event. We'll talk about that in a moment, but there's two people I want you to meet that are so important about what's happening for us tonight. Look at the two gentlemen I have right here. Introduce yourself. Tell everybody who you be. Frank Rivar, proprietor of the restaurant, Rivar's. And John Cosgrove, Mayor of Fairlawn, Wayne, how you doing? <laughs> Actually, if anybody didn't know you, I don't even want them to watch the show. <laughs> First, you hosted this event tonight. How does that feel for you to get involved with stuff like this for the community? Uh, something that I should have done a long time ago and more often, but something I want to do in the future. And we're really happy to provide the facilities and our services because it's a great cause. It's a great charity. and. Uh, like to do it more often. Well, Veris has always been involved in the community. I mean, there's a lot of things that you're involved in, and I know that. And you have some great things downstairs. What's that thing with the, called an owl something or other? What is that? The owl pub, which is uh, probably a reminder that we used to be the owl and I for a long time. Oh, that's where it came from. A lot of people remember us as the owl and I. So we incorporated it in the Rivars, which was around for that the last 20 years, uh, 25 years, and the owl and I was around for the first 16 years, so we put down Rivar's owl. A are you, are you still the eye that. in the owl and I, by the way, or is that just uh, random? Okay. <laughs> uh, can I accept that? You could say that, yes. But Frank, yes. thank you for everything. And of course, okay. Mr. Mayor, it's always a pleasure to see you. Your thoughts about something like this going on tonight here? Oh, it's great, Wayne. I mean, uh, you know, Nicole DeFonte is, uh, I got to meet Nicole, uh, you know, I, I met her through Facebook, uh, hearing about, uh, you know, she's only 44 years old and she's had four strokes. That's uh, two young children, single mom. So tonight we're just all gathering here to try to make her holidays a little happier. And uh, I want to thank Frank and his brother Vic from the uh, from Rivaris for ha hosting this for us. And uh, I do remember Al and I, as, as he knows, I was a patron 40 years ago here. And uh, they're a great family, and uh, we're really happy that we're going to help Nicole tonight. Well, one of the things I think makes our borough family so special is that we have people like you guys. That are involved. I mean, when I cover events, you're at every single one, and I know you always want to go, but you do stuff here. Thank you both, host and mayor. Let's hope it's a successful evening, okay? Thanks, Wayne. We'll Thanks for being here. here. My pleasure, too. Always willing to help. Thank you. All right, folks, we're going to stand by and see what's going on. All right, folks, as you can see, the preparation is still going on for tonight, and I think we want to say hi to these three people over here, because they have a lot to do with what's going on. First, introduce yourself. Say hi. Hi, my name is Stacy Pearl. I live in Fairlawn, New Jersey for over 40 years, and Nicole is my dear friend. Now, I guess, Nicole, you just got introduced. Yeah, I'm Nicole DeFontis, and this benefit is for me, and everybody's being so wonderful. Now, you don't go away. I'm Tiffany Lane. I was born and raised in Fairlawn. I still live in Fairlawn. I work in Fairlawn. So I'm very happy to help out with this cause. How did this sort of get started? Uh, just a bunch of us got together and we were like, we need to do something to help her because she's had extenuating circumstances and she can't work and we want to make sure she can provide for her kids. She's a single mom and this was the best thing we could come up with. Very quickly, we collected a lot of donations from a lot of Fairlawn businesses, which we're very grateful for. And all the proceeds are going to Nicole and her family. Now, don't go away because I want to have people know that after this tonight that we're still looking for some help. And you maybe are going to help me with that. Stacy, you're yes. such a big part of this town and getting involved. Your thoughts about just having this go on? I'm sorry? Wait. Your thoughts about having this go on? Oh, this is amazing. Ironically enough, about a month ago, I reached out to Doug, Tiffany's husband, on Facebook message. And I said, what are your thoughts about maybe getting a fundraiser or like doing something for Nicole to, to have, her kids, have her kids have like a really nice Christmas? And he told me that this was already in the works, that he had already met with Christine Legere and Mark Palmieri right. to get to together to put something like and this Mayor in the works Cosgrove and Mayor, Mayor Cosgrove, Cosgrove mm -hmm. initiated and I said please let yeah. me know what I could do to help you know and I, I was more than happy to help and go to some local businesses and see what we could do about getting them to donate some prizes and you know I put together a basket myself it's on the table and you know anything for my friend Nicole and her family we want to make sure that her family has a wonderful holiday season and, and support them in whatever way we can. Well Nicole one of the things that I like to share with our audience is how much together people in town care for each other. It's amazing. Your thoughts it's, are just a little bit about everyone doing all this. I'm, I'm just, I'm kind of speechless still. Um, and I know it's hard to our, talk, but just casually. Wonderful mayor initiated this whole thing, and um, he didn't need to. And then my friends just rallied around me so much, and it's been, it's been amazing. Well, we're here for I, you, I not just now, but for quite a while from now also. Mm -hmm. uh, and speaking of that, suppose people want to reach out maybe in the future, how can they reach out to us? Um, they can text me or call me at 
843-943-1074. I work at the bank where the account was at. They can now, send right me now they're running for paper and pencil. I want to hear that number again. I will do it again in one second. Okay. I work at the bank, Got Columbia it. Bank, on South of a Road. They can also stop by there if they want to drop off a donation. We have an account set up for Nicole. And my number again is 973-943-1074. Tiffany, Nicole, <laughs> Stacy, bless you all. Go enjoy your friends. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you, Amy. Okay. Thank you. Okay, have a good one. You okay. too. Okay, folks, stay around. We're going to get involved with some more things soon. Okay. Good evening, everybody. I, I just want to welcome everyone here. And you know, the real, we, we all know the real reason we're here is to help Nicole. You know, I didn't know Nicole. I saw her on Facebook. I went to visit her in the hospital, and right away I, I knew that, you know, we need to help her. So I want to thank. I know there's a lot of people in this room that are going to miss somebody, so, but I, I want to thank Mark and Christine and uh, the ladies, right? Tiffany, right? Okay. The new billboard. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's the only good thing about not being mayor anymore. When I saw that thing pop up, I, I can't take it being on Feral Moms and Dads. Never mind. <laughs> But, you know, I just want to thank everybody for being here and supporting Nicole. And we know, Nicole, you're doing well, and you're, fighter, you're a fighter, and you're going to come back better than ever. So, everybody have a great time tonight. You know, when we talk about putting together something special, there's always a lot of people involved, and you see all these smiley faces. And Nicole, they're all, they're all here for you, Nicole. We're all here for you. Okay? I, know, I'm well, so I chatted with you before, but I just want you to know that the love is amazing. Mark, your thoughts? Um, I'm really ecstatic. Uh, listen, we put something together. The mayor asked me to, to help out, put an event together. We did this all in two weeks. It was a little, weeks. little quick turnaround. We did it as fast as we can. The donations were exceptional. They, they came in um, quickly and, and over abundance, more than we expected. And we're really happy and we hope we can help Nicole throughout the holiday season as she gets better in her journey. You should, you should just want to say hi. Hi. Tell everybody who you be. I'm Christine Legere. Your thoughts? Um, uh, very good friends with Nicole, and I'm so happy about the outpouring of support and people coming here and wishing her well. And she's an amazing person, an amazing family. So thank you, everybody. And we're all here to help. Yes. We have one more person to say hello to. Introduce yourself, please. How you doing? I'm Douglas Lee. Um, just wanted to have a little fun and fundraiser for our friend Nicole. Um, she's great. She's a lot of laughs, and she's in a lot of trouble. And we just wanted to throw our hands in there and help her out. Thank you all. Thank you. I'm going to save I just a million love times. these people. I love these people so much. Really. Well, we all love you. That's incredible. Thank you. Now, I know I took you up from your tables. I'm going to take a picture, so don't go away. Everybody, stay with me. More stuff coming up. Well, folks, I just want you to know this is where we just were. They acted as our host for this special event for Nicole. It's something that we like to try and do here in Fairlawn. We get together, we help people out, and I'm also going to be able to post on how you can continue to help Nicole out. You'll see that at the end of the show. So look for me. I'll be coming around your neck of the woods real soon. Until we meet again, my name is Wayne Robbins. I'll see you next time inside Fairlawn.